Nicole Frontal. I am Samantha B. Guys, let's take a break from the partisan chaos of choosing a new executive leader and focus on the partisan chaos of choosing a new judicial leader. Hooray! Since Justice Scalia joined the Founding Fathers in Heaven, where I'm sure they're all giving them shit for taking their documents way too literally, <laughs> Senate Republicans have made it clear that they're gonna hold the Supreme Court hostage like a Mexican housekeeper locking Richard Simmons up in the crawl space. We have 80 years of precedent of not confirming Supreme Court justices in an election year. That half-melted Reagan dummy from Madame Tussauds Wax Museum is sort of right. It doesn't happen often, but that's just because justices tend not to resign or get murdered by hotel room pillows in election years. <laughs> Fact is, not a single president has ever refused to make a nomination to fill a Supreme Court vacancy, regardless of its timing, including this president, who took time off from making the cast of Hamilton do his bidding. <laughs> fulfilled his constitutional duty to troll the Republicans so hard. Today I am nominating Chief Judge Merrick Brian Garland to join the Supreme Court. He earned overwhelming bipartisan praise. Yeah, but that praise was like five whole days before when Republican Senator and clairvoyant Orrin Hatch said this. Obama could easily name Merrick Garland, who is a fine man. He probably won't do that because this appointment is about the election, so I'm pretty sure he'll name someone the liberal Democratic base wants. Psych! <laughs> did exactly what Hatch said he wouldn't, which is why Hatch then said, I bet Obama would never give me a million dollars, a jet ski, and let me attend Oval Office meetings as Heavenly Father made me. Oh my God, Obama pretending he actually likes this charming, moderate consensus jerk off, sent the hosts of Fox's popular program, Messed Up Hashtag, into a conspiracy tailspin. This is Obama's effort to look bipartisan and reasonable. Mm -hmm. I believe that it's a political trap. He seems like a completely reasonable candidate. This is a trap. Allegedly violent <laughs> Trump supporters are gonna stand up and he's gonna say, oh, you're blocking him because this is payback because he prosecuted the Oklahoma City uh, bombers. Call his bluff, go ahead, put him through the motions, put him on the court. I mean, I can think of nothing more disappointing to the left. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Confirm his nominee, ensure his legacy, that'll teach him.